Hi, I'm David Barkovic, Product Manager for ServiceNow, and we're going to be reviewing the Vendor Risk Management application for the Jakarta release. Vendor Risk Management is the fourth application in the GRC suite, and the Jakarta release focuses on five high-level capabilities. So we have the vendor portfolio. This is the database of vendors that are targeted for assessment. We have assessment management. This is where you define your assessment templates, scheduling information, and the risk frameworks, the risk scoring frameworks for those assessments. You have issues and remediation. These can be shared with the vendor to get closure on the gaps between what you're looking for and what functionality the vendor provides. We have the vendor portal. This is where we pull you out of email. We consolidate all vendor interaction in the vendor portal so that everybody has visibility into exactly what needs to get done, who's doing it, what decisions were made, and by when it needs to be completed. And then finally, we have integration with the other products in the GRC suite. So with that, let's take a look at the product. Okay, so I'm going to sign into the console here as a vendor risk manager. So as you can see, there's the new vendor risk application on the left hand side here. We start you off in a dashboard. We have a few sample widgets in here for your risk distribution, your risk rating distribution across your vendors. Uh, give you some insight into your backlog of vendor assessments and then your open issues. So these are just a few sample widgets. This is a uh, standard ServiceNow dashboard, so you can heavily customize this depending on your reporting needs for vendor risk. But let's take a look at how the vendor assessments are designed. So assessments are defined as templates, and those templates consist of questionnaires and document requests. You can define your own proprietary questionnaires. Those can be created and edited in a visual designer. Here, you have many different question types that you can choose from. And you can simply drag and drop the question type that you'd like into the appropriate spot in the questionnaire. then you can configure that question as desired. In this case, the choices here for the single choice question and even choose the choice that is considered the correct answer for automated scoring. But let's say uh, instead of using a proprietary questionnaire, you want to use something that's industry standard. With a Jakarta release, we are embedding the SIG questionnaire, the standard or the standardized information gathering questionnaire from the shared assessments group. Uh, both the SIG full and the SIG light are automatically included in the application. All the program tools are included from these templates here. And everything is embedded so that we can automatically score the responses. So once you have defined your questionnaire templates and your document request templates, you can define how those are combined into an assessment. So you'll have multiple assessments. They tend to vary depending on the risk tier of your target vendors, with uh, vendors of increasing or, or greater risk having more rigorous assessments. So here you simply select the questionnaires and the document requests you want as part of this assessment. You provide some general scheduling information here, and that's all there is to it. So with that, why don't we send one of these to a vendor? I'll pull up a vendor here. Let's say that we're going to do an assessment for Workday. Here's what that vendor looks like. Now, I can define a repeating assessment, which puts an assessment on a recurrence interval, say every 12 to 18 months. But in this case here, let's just create one ad hoc. So I'll use that 
template that we just saw. Be assign that to me. Adjust the name as needed. And everything else is pulled over from the template. So there really isn't much to do here. That's kind of the point of the template. So I'm just going to submit this to the vendor. And now the ball is in the vendor's court. So this will automatically send a notification to the vendor stakeholders that were defined on this vendor form and inform them of the new assessment they need to respond to. So let's look at this from the standpoint of the vendor. All vendor interaction is centralized in a vendor portal. And I'm going to sign into that vendor portal as the primary contact for Workday. So this is the individual that is responsible for collecting all responses across the organization and submitting those back to the customer. So here is the home page for the vendor portal. You can see a couple of assessments that were completed last year, the one that's in progress, and then the new one that we just created. You can see the four requests for that assessment, the two questionnaires and the two document requests. Now assessments tend to span domains within an organization. For example, you may have questions for information security, some for HR, let's say a background check, uh, some for legal, some for finance, and so on. So you as a primary contact can define who your collaborators are and manage that team here. Here's me, and I have other individuals across the organization. I can add and remove other folks as needed. Let's say that team looks good, though. I have everybody I need to complete this assessment. So if I go back to that assessment, I can start to parcel out this work. So let's say I can send this first questionnaire to someone in legal. The SIG is pretty large, or can be large. Uh, and it crosses multiple domains, so I can actually bring in multiple people for that questionnaire. And then I can delegate work for the remaining items as needed. So when I assign these requests out to other people, these individuals will receive email notifications indicating that they have been assigned that particular request and their responses are needed. So let's take a look at one of these questionnaires and the SIG in particular. So when you view a questionnaire, the questionnaire can be responded to in a standard web form, as you can see here. You can navigate to other sections as needed. But in the case of the SIG, the SIG is an industry standard questionnaire, so we give it special treatment. In particular, many vendors already have their responses to the SIG in the standard SIG questionnaire template, which is an Excel file. If so, they can simply import that spreadsheet here. We'll read that spreadsheet, and we will automatically fill the responses in the web form. Now, in this case, we support SIG 2017 and I uploaded a fully completed SIG, but one that was in the 2015 format. In that case, we will migrate the responses over from older SIG formats, 2015 and later, to the latest format, and then we will indicate which sections have net new questions that need to be responded to. Those questions can be answered in the web form. So this ensures that you as a customer will always get the latest and greatest information from your vendors. Document requests behave very similarly. It's actually a questionnaire underneath the covers. I can simply upload my documents in that same form view. Now let's say I'm happy with this. I can submit this back to the customer now the ball is back in the customer's court. And you can see here that an SLA is provided to the vendor for when they can res expect responses from the customer. 
Okay, so let's look at this from the customer side again. So here is that assessment. You can see that the responses have been received. Let's say I'm ready to do my homework on this, so I'll move it into generating observations. And you can see that we have progress indicators, so we can see how far along they were when they submitted it. And in fact, we will even display these progress indicators before they've submitted their responses. So you as a customer have some insight into how far along the vendor is, if they're getting close to their due date, do you need to poke them to move things along, or do you expect them to finish in time? So we can view those responses. Page looks very similar to how it was shown to the vendor. I can show only the responses that were marked incorrect or unscored. This will help me focus my attention on the things that are likely to be actionable. You can mark things as follow-up as needed, maybe attach a separate comment if desired. And then you'll notice that the questionnaires have a risk score and a risk rating. So when you define your questionnaires, you can actually mark which questions are scorable and which, uh, what the correct answers are. And you can also specify an optional weight to the question in case some questions are more important than others. Those responses are then rolled up to a 0 to 100 rating on a per section level. And then each section can also have a corresponding weight. And then those scores are rolled up to a single 0 to 100 risk score for the questionnaire itself. You can also define a risk rating. That translates that 0 to 100 score to a more qualitative risk rating here. And this can be customized on a per questionnaire template basis. And then as you're reviewing the more qualitative responses, let's say the text-based responses, you can adjust the risk ratings as needed to account for that. So you can say, all things considered, this is a low. Now, once you've identified the gaps in the assessment, you can capture those gaps as issues targeted for remediation with the vendor. And I have a few of those issues defined at the vendor level. And let's take a look at how these are presented to the vendor. So if those issues were attached to an assessment, those would show up in the issues and tasks view here. We also roll up all issues to a top level list here. And let's take a look at this audit log retention issue. Here's what issues look like when they're presented to a vendor. See summary, description information. You can see a comment thread, and this is important because this is where we pull you out of email. Comments, the decisions made on this issue can be captured in this comments thread on a per issue and a per task basis. So now that everybody can see what decisions were made, who's been involved, and by when can things be expected to be completed. That can be captured as tasks as well, which look very similarly two issues. You can start and stop progress. You can attach evidence when an issue needs is going to be resolved and then correspondingly mark the issue itself as resolved which will put it in a review state here where the customer will look it over and then close it uh, if desired. And then subsequently the assessment can be closed as well. So this should give you a sense of what the vendor risk management application is looking like for Jakarta. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.